You also have the ability to create what we call assignments for your class, which is a list of tasks for your students to complete. To create an assignment, go to the administration menu at the top of the page and click assignments. Next, go to create new assignment to create the first assignment for your class. Assignments include many things. The most common first assignment is watching the tutorial videos, such as the site overview, how to trade stocks, how to trade mutual funds, how to trade options, etc. The select all button will include all these items in an assignment. If you want to view or expand one of these sections, you can always click these collapse buttons. We also include some short quizzes on some basics of investing. For a university finance class, these are probably well below the level of your students. But if you're doing a lower level personal finance class or campus-wide challenge, you may want to include some of these items within your assignment. Then near the bottom, we have all of the different trading activities that your students can do. For each of these, you can say whether or not you want to require it and how many of the, each type of trade into place. So for example, I want to require each of my students to buy five US stocks and short two US stocks. And I want to make them at least 10 total trades. Once you have everything that you want to have your students do, you'll need to give your assignment a name and select the start and end dates of your assignment. By default, these will be the same as the class start and end dates. If you intend to have multiple assignments for your class, we recommend that you do not overlap these because your students can only get credit for one assignment at a time. That means that if you have two active assignments and your student are, students are placing trades, they'll only count for one of them at a time and they'll have to manually switch to the other one. In the past, we've had problems with students not realizing they could do this, and so they were only getting credit for one of the assignments at a time. Once you have everything set as you like, click Create to create this assignment. For your students, as soon as an assignment is created, it will appear on their dashboard page on the right. It will have a list of all the items that you've required them to do, along with their progress on each of the assignments and their overall progress. If you do have more than one assignment, they'll be able to switch between them here as well. Once your students have started making progress, you as the administrator can go back to the assignments page in the administration menu to start viewing their progress. Now, instead of going to create a new assignment page, we're going to the report card. The report card lists every single student in your class and the completion percentage that they've gained on each of the assignment items. It also includes their last login date, so you can tell whether or not they've actually been logging into their account and trading. Like most of the other reports, you can also export this to Excel if you want to see all of your students in one place. If you click these Details button, you'll see the students' percent uh, completion on each of the items in their entire assignment.